Hello. You're welcome to another interesting topic on vaccination schedule for backyard and commercial turkey. If you are a poultry farmer and you know that you are keeping turkey, either the heritage or the local, either the, any of them, the one you call broiler turkey or imported turkey or heritage turkey or anything turkey, please make sure you watch this video till the end. This video is going to help someone here. Don't skip any track at all because that track may be the one that is keeping you from making enough profit from your turkey production. One, in the one, if you buy from a very good hatch, they must have given Marex vaccine at Hatcher. The one, Turkey have sight problem. Once they arrive, please don't brood their Turkey with other poultry birds. They may match on them. Because Turkey have sight issues, most especially at the early stage of their lives. I'm not saying that you can't brood them, but you may lose many of them because they had sight problem. The one, give them Lasota, NDV vaccine. Lasota is very important for them on the one. Between the one and the seas, please give them a very good feed, quality feed. Turkey starter is different from broiler starter, please. Turkey requires up to 28% crude protein. But I know that almost 90% farmers use the same feed for broiler for turkey or the same feed for layers for turkey it's not advisable please enrich their feed their feed needs up to 28 percent crude protein for you to brood them properly well starting turkey with 23 percent crude protein is an error and it needs to be avoided if you don't know how you do it perhaps you don't have turkey feed in your area Ask me on the comment section. I will guide you on how you are going to fortify that same commercial feed for you to get up to 28% crude protein. Beside, I will make a video content on how to formulate turkey feed very soon. Please also remind me on the comment section so that I will not forget it. Always remind me. Any statement I make, always remind me, please. Now, the one to sixth week, continue giving them meat water, quality feed, give them light. Then at six weeks, and that issue, and that thing that disturbs talking is foul pus. So before the sixth week, give them foul pus vaccine. That one is normally at wing web, wing web root. It's very important. Then between week nine and 10, Give them second dose of Lasota Aura in water. Make sure you properly dilute your vaccine, please, so that there will be no failure. You know all the necessary things, preparation you know to make before vaccination. Please keep all of them intact and make sure you don't skip any of them. Then day, day 12, give them foul cholera vaccine. Oral also. That one is very important also. If you want to achieve your end in that turkey production, continue giving them food and neat water with multivitamins. Anything you want to give them, please continue giving them. Week 15, give them third dose of that Lasota Aura, third, the third one. First one is the one, second one is the that is week nine and ten, and third one is week 15. And this particular one again now. You need to give them at week 18. It's very, very important. That's in Lasota. If you don't, if they are large in number, and you want to make use of it, some of you used to buy them so that they will lay eggs for them, some they hatch the eggs, and use them as a business. Please give them Kumuruf. Instead of the fourth Lasota, give them what? Kumuruf Fasen. That one is intramuscular. That one will keep them for you for years. I have turkeys that have lived with me for five, six years in my farm. And they continued laying eggs. And the male ones are still there, still crossing them. 
Though when they grow older, their productivity drops, but you continue gaining from it. Now, when you hear of MDV, it means Marex vaccine, a Marek disease vaccine. Then when you hear IB, it means infectious bronchitis. When you hear NDV, it means Newcastle disease vaccine. Then when you hear IBDV, it means infectious Bucell disease vaccine. So any time you see any of such abbreviations, that is what it all means in vaccination. Thank you for watching this video to the extent. Thank you for your effort. Thank you for your time. Thank you all also for sharing this video. God will always share his blessings to you and your farm will never suffer any mortality. For now, I stop this particular series here. If you have any question, any other thing you want me to create content on for you, please drop it on the comment section. Always ask your questions. And at the same time, make sure you always share our video. That's the only way you can encourage this particular platform. If you are a member of this particular platform, please always share our video. Comment. Give it the thumb up. And at the same time, follow us and subscribe. Bye.